Hello and welcome to the video looking at um, using the compliance assistant to help you find which adult members need some help with their ongoing learning. So this report is taken from the appointments report within Compass uh, and then using the compliance assistant tool um, and we've looked at the summary and subtotal tabs um, which will show us uh, some information including uh, meeting train obligations um, and so you can see the two lines there look at uh, wood badge um, and then look at uh, first aid safety and safeguarding um, so the information uh, the way of filtering for either of these um, are the same being able to go back into appointments um, and then coming across each of the uh, each of the um, drop down lists at the top um, can be filtered so we might look, for example, at uh, safeguarding training renewal due by. Um, that's a helpful new column that's appeared uh, within Compass recently. Um, so if we want anything due by uh, this year, for example, um, so I'm looking at it in April 2021, um, I then might want to take out all of the future dates beyond there so that I know uh, who it is that I've got that uh, is due now. Um, so then within... Uh, 2021 I can expand that just by clicking on there um, and you might decide to take out uh, the tail end of the year for example so that we're uh, maybe only taking it up to the summer um, to have a little look at and then we click OK and it will show you people um, in different coloured states um, so we can see uh, white rows here for example shows you uh, that it's um, not yet uh, due for renewal um, You'll then get people with orange states uh, where they're due soon um, and you've got people with red cells where it's uh, overdue as well. Um, so that was just filtering on uh, safeguarding training renewal by. The same idea is there for wood badge um, as well. Um, so you might want to take out everybody who's got um, a wood badge date in there and then use the blank one. Uh, this isn't a perfect filter um, because uh, not all of these roles require um, a wood badge for their role um, but it does quickly give you a way to um, scroll down and uh, be able to see even just in that one column um, which coloured boxes you've got. Um, if you are looking at uh, whose wood badges are overdue by different things um, I'd recommend using the training assistant um, rather than the compliance assistant um, because it does mark the information uh, much more helpfully in there. Um, but the idea of being able to go into a particular um, aspect of either um, induction, uh, wood badge or ongoing learning to find out who it is that needs uh, some help um, is, uh, is really helpful to be able to do so in the compliance assistant as well.